This summer has been one for the books. It is September, but the thermometer, at least for right now, Erin, moving in the wrong direction. <laughs> yeah, still, uh, still more in August. And, and really, this August was record-breaking for us in North Texas. We're continuing to break records into the first full week of September. Major cities in the Metroplex are sitting in the triple digits, 105 to 106. The thermometer reading for McKinney, Denton, Fort Worth, and Dallas right now. But factoring in the humidity, it feels like 107. In McKinney right now feels like 108 in Denton, 106 in Fort Worth, and 107 at Love Field. It feels like 112 right now in Hillsboro, feeling like 108, as I mentioned, in Denton, but also Corsicana, 107 in Greenville, 108 in Bonham. These are temperatures and heat index values that we expect in August. We hope to get a break from it once we get into September. There is relief on the way, but we still have to take the heat precautions for a couple more days, certainly into tonight and tomorrow as our weather alert continues. This excessive heat warning remains in effect. Feels like temperatures up to 111, but we do have Hillsboro currently feeling like 112. This excessive heat warning has been extended into Friday evening, and then we actually add more counties to the west as we head into Friday as well. So this is something that we're going to have to contend with for the next couple of hours and into tomorrow. Feels like temperatures remaining at 110, 110. 11 as we head into the 5 o'clock hour, the 6 o'clock hour by 7 o'clock, hopefully feeling like 107 uh, with still plenty of sunshine, though, barely any breeze. And then we look to tomorrow. We're starting at 83. It feels like we're in the mid 80s. We will likely be in the triple digits by noon. And then as we head into the afternoon, we're topping out around 106, 107 degrees. Feels like temperatures once again, 110, 111 in places. And you notice some isolated rain and storm chances. So not only do we have to contend with record heat tomorrow, then we have to talk about the possibility of some stronger storms just in time for Friday night lights as well. By 7 o'clock, we've got upper 90s, still feeling like the low 100s, a 30% chance for rain. So keep this in mind. Not everyone is going to see rain and storms as we make our way into Friday night. But we want to be prepared for it, right? Because any of these storms that develop, they could be on the stronger side. This is an update from earlier this morning. The Storm Prediction Center actually shifting this level 2 slight risk a little farther to the west. Now includes all of Dallas County. County, all of Collin County, most of Denton County, and about half of Tarrant County. So any storms that develop tomorrow, they could produce some gusty winds, some large hail, lightning as well. So we're going to keep an eye on that. That coverage is at 30%. And then next week, Robbie, we've got a 60% chance for rain on Tuesday with a high, get this, of 81.